MLB The Show has released the first ever female card in the Diamond Dynasty. 90 overall, Diamond Tony Stone from the Barrier Breaker series. She is one of the most broken cards in this game right now. 103, 108 contact versus right and left. 70 and 65 power. You got 84 vision. This card is wild. So obviously we got to add her onto the team and we're going to be building up this team using the wheel. Once we build that team using the wheel, we're going to be going into a game and every single run that I give up equals one discard. So Tony, the wheel, and I got to be locked in today. And up first is our catcher. Please, wheel, give us something good. I do not want to go in with a crappy catcher. Random gold. Okay, we can work with that. We can definitely work with that as I really don't know if I want to go with any of these guys. I might try to find a better gold catcher real quick. There's got to be a broken gold catcher. There's no way there isn't. We got Sean Murphy. We got JT as a gold. Oh my gosh, guys. I mean, we do have William and William's not bad because that 109 and 82 power versus left. Not to mention 87 clutch. Am I really just convincing myself here? The only other one for me that really comes close, I think it's got to be Will Smith. And I'm not trying to get slapped. That is such an old, stupid joke, but I'm going with William. William, welcome to the team. It's so weird going with an 82 as the best one, but I feel like he's the best. Next up, shortstop. Let's go. I got bronzes on this wheel too, so please just don't give me that as, come on. Market page 12. <laughs> I can't get any player from market page 12, but I know for a fact it is not going to be what I want it to be. Let's real quick go over to it. And yeah, technically it's not horrible because we still got some golds, but it's not even close to what I wanted. We do have Carlos Correa here though. This guy's an 80 overall. How does that make any sense? But yeah, we got to get him. Carlos Correa, come on over, baby. He seems pretty good on both sides of the ball, so I feel like we got to do it. For our next player, this is a gigantic wrist bump going out to the outfield center field because right now we have Armand Upshaw. Not going to cut it at all, Armand. So get off my team, please. Watch us somehow get somebody worse from this wheel because I know it's so stupid. Barrier Breakers. There we are. The same series as Tony Stone. If only this game had chemistry in it. My goodness. I right, Barrier Breakers. What you got for me real quick? I need somebody that could play the outfield. And oh my God, Hank Aaron could have been here. If only I could have gotten Hank Aaron for sure. That would have been beautiful. But real talk, I need a center fielder. And to be honest, I think Martin is the only one. And oh my God, he's going to be pitching for us too. Bro, he is busted. 29,000 stubs. I mean, it makes sense. But dude, the guy can play every position. Yes, please. Get on my team, bro. That's the easiest addition of all time right there. Let's go. Now that we got center field and our starting pitcher done, we got to go with first base now. And please give me another diamond. I literally have the worst card in baseball right here on this wheel. And thank goodness we're not going to get it. Number wheel spin. On this wheel right here, I have numbers one all the way to 99. And whatever we spin, it's going to be the jersey number of the player that we have to add to this team. There's a good chance that we get a horrible number right here. If this wheel has a heart, it'll give me one of the stars as 79. That does ring a bell. Wait a minute. Oh. I was right. 79 for Jose Abreu. Unfortunately, though, I don't have his 89 diamond because that is a crazy grind that I just haven't done yet. But there is one thing I do have, and that's his live series card. And I've heard wonderful things about his swing. So even though he's only a 77 overall, I'm still excited to test out that swing. But now I think we just finish off the infield. Why not? Hot corner. Let's see what we get. Whatever you do, don't give me something bad. 50,000 stubs. That's actually a gigantic chunk of the stubs I have right now. I got 124,000. Now I definitely don't have to spend all 50,000, but you best believe I'm a shop a little bit. What do we got? Oh my God. All right, I wasn't expecting these to be uh, so cheap. My goodness. Cam's brand new and he's out of the budget anyway, so we can't get him. Adrian Beltre, though, is looking different. And he's down on hitting and down on defense. So I think Adrian Beltre is going to be our guy. And luckily, I already got the guy. And he is looking so incredibly good. He's going to be beautiful for this team. Wait a minute. I just realized the problem with this team. Martin's out in center field. I want him pitching, personally. Because the guy looks insanely gross. And I'm not trying to take any chances. So technically, we got to move Martin down to DH so the guy can pitch for us. Because right now, our pitchers look absolutely trash. Rash. So, Martin, get in there. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now, we actually still need a center fielder. So, god dang it. And we're coming off a good spin, too. And this wheel is not nice to me. So, I'm expecting something horrible as another number wheel spin. I feel like we got somewhat lucky with Jose Abreu last time. So this time, my God, I'm scared for what we could get. So this time, watch it be something insane that literally nobody has, like 58 or 59 or something wild. I wouldn't mind 99 though, because that is Aaron Judge as we get number nine. Yo, can we just add one more nine to this, please? I want Aaron Judge. Yo, real talk. Who the heck is number nine? I know Corbin Carroll's gonna be number seven. I know Nick Castellanos, I think is number eight. Wait a minute though. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, please. Mets. Please tell me my boy's gonna be a decent overall. Brandon Nimmo. I think he's number nine and he is. He's only 80 overall though. But hey, he is a great contact hitter, so he might be perfect. You know what really stinks about this? Ted freaking Williams is number nine, but MLB has not come out with a Ted Williams card yet. So I got to use Brandon Nimmo out of everybody. Could have used one of the greatest players of all time, but no, I have to use Brandon 
Nimmo. That's tough. All right, left field. Let's go. Who we got for left field? Higher or lower? Okay. We're going to be guessing MLB home runs for our left fielder. Let's hope that I'm going to be cooking today. We got to get more than seven correct. If I get that, then I can pick anybody that I want. If we don't get seven, though, I have to put in the lowest rated card in my entire inventory. I'm not doing that for Tony, so we got to lock in. We got Roy. The guy looks 150 years old. We also got Jermaine Dye. I'm just going Jermaine. So please, Jermaine, please tell me, baby, please. Thank God. That was way too close. I can't have this much stress already. Rafael Palmero or Jermaine. I got to go Rafael because this dude was amazing. 569, of course. That's two down. Rafael or Curtis Granderson. Curtis Granderson was good, but not as good as Rafael home runs wise. That's another one done. That's three off the board. Raul Abanez or Curtis Granderson. Two studs, but I still got to go Curtis Granderson. I got to go Grandy. And that was way closer than I thought as well. My God, Raul. Jose Canseco. <laughs> Oh, man, that's perfect. Yo, the roids went nuts, Jose. Jose Canseco or poor Darren Johnson, dude. If Darren Johnson has more home runs than Jose freaking Canseco on the roids, I'm going to freak out. Jose, don't let me down. Thank goodness. That should have been the easiest one of all time. Number six, here we go. And Andrew Jones. There's no way that Andrew Jones did not hit more than 245 home runs. I refuse to believe it. There we are. 434. That's seven. Now we just got to beat it. Frank Howard. This guy looks freaking built. Oh, God. Or Andrew Jones. I'm still going Andrew. I'm sorry. If I had to guess, Frank played a while ago, way before Andrew Jones. And back then, the home runs were just a little bit different. I got to go Andrew Jones. Please, baby. And that was way closer than I thought, but Andrew's going to take it. And we completed it. We can now get any left fielder that we want for this team. And since I can pick anybody that I want, I got to go with the guy that we packed. 93 overall, Ronald Acuna Jr. This card looks disgusting. So get in, baby. We got a couple more spots off, but the last one that we're going to be getting for the offense is going to be right field. And after looking at the team, we are currently an 80 overall right now. That's not bad at all, but we still desperately need a little bit more diamonds here. So, Will, I just need one more blessing, baby. Please just give me one more random country. Oh my God. With this wheel, I have three lives, which means I have three different attempts to try to get a very, very good right fielder. But based off just the pure amount of countries here, I am very, very nervous. There's a lot of countries that play baseball, but not this many. So, I need an absolute miracle. Give me Cuba, Dominican Republic, America, even somebody, please. Oh my God, what's our first one gonna be? It is, oh my God, Turkmenistan. There's not a single baseball player from there. There's no shot. We gotta go something else. I'm sorry, Turkmenistan, but we gotta spin again. That is wild. I know geography pretty good and I've never heard of that country. What else we got? Tajikistan. One of my favorite countries actually, Tajikistan, because it's such a beautiful name, but I'm sorry, Tajikistan. I can't do it. We gotta remove it. We got one final spin. Come on, come on, come on. United States, oh my. Look at all of the countries I could have gotten. And we somehow pull America out of there. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, let's go. Right field, anybody from America. And to be honest, I think Mickey Mantle is going to be our guy. Born in Oklahoma, one of the greatest players to ever play baseball. Mickey, welcome to the squad. And after Mickey Mantle got added to the team, we went on and filled out the bench and some of the bullpen while spinning the wheel. And now we're looking ready to go. 85 overall team. I'm feeling pretty good about this. What's our opponent's team going to look like? And uh, okay, wait a minute. I got way too nervous at the front, but the back end is looking way better for us. And we're Remember, every single run that I let up is going to be one discard for our team. But there is one thing that I did not tell you guys, and that's every single hit that Tony gets in this debut is going to count for minus one discard. So she can save her teammates, and we just desperately need to do good with her. I'm not expecting to give up any runs, but you never know what's going to happen. Martin's got the one, two, and House Young Kim. We got to go sink her inside. Be it. That's got to be it. Right here. Right here. Oh, no, not the bloop single. Come on. This early, we're giving up bloop singles. That can't happen. Oh, two, Martin. We got to go up and in. That went up and over but 100 miles an hour and we get out of the inning. All right, Tony, the first woman in Diamond Dynasty history makes her debut. Is it messed up to be expecting Nuke here? Honestly, like I feel good with her. Is that's it pretty far? But unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be dying out there and left. So close, Tony, so close. Now we got Ronald and he's got 101 contact versus left. I wanted that one so bad. If I wasn't early, that thing would have bashed off the scoreboard. Come on, get through. That's not going to be good enough. Oh, man. And here we go, Martin. I need you bad here, bro. We really need you please that's launched only at 95 miles an hour though is that gonna be good enough warning trek again <laughs> what a heartbreaker two deep fly balls to left martin's doing good though he's running through these hitters we just got to make sure that this guy grounds in a double play right here get this ball on the ground i feel like we got a good shot right here or just strike him out that works too here we go carlos come on there we are that should be a lot better thank goodness we still got such a crazy team we got mickey mantle and adrian beltre coming up next we just gotta wait for a great pitch with mickey right here two two mickey come on come on that's 
Not bad, but that would have been a strike anyway. We had to go for it, but I missed. Adrian Beltre up now. That's going to at least be a single. Thank goodness. Finally, our first hit. Besides Mickey, we've been putting some good wood on the ball. Oh, Brandon Nimmo. I am so sorry that I did not want to add you to this team. What was that no doubter animation too? But my gosh, Brandon. Oh, let's go, baby. Two nothing. Oh, back to back. Don't let me do it to you. Off the scoreboard and Carlos Correa made up for that error that he committed earlier. 103 off the bat and we are now up 3-0. Can we make it three for three at the home runs though? Come on, William. The most unlikely heroes of this team have been hitting home runs. So please, Will, that's... Wow, perfect, perfect for a freaking out. That's unfortunate. And luckily, after the first hit that Martin gave up, we settled back in and he's been electric throughout. Now we're back to it, Tony, please. She drove the ball to left field last time. I'm expecting even better things here, Tony. That's going to stay up again, isn't it? Oh my gosh. The pop is there. We're just hitting it to where these people are. Now we got Ronald. I mean, you cannot leave that in there for Ronald. You can't. Fastball low in the zone. You cannot let the golf swing champ do that to you. 4 nothing us. 4-32. I feel like everybody's getting home runs besides poor Tony. I feel bad. Back with Beltran. Got on first base. That's going to split the gap, though. Let's go three right there, Mickey. Get down. Get down. We're good. Runners in the corners. Two outs for Jose Abreu. Again, I've heard great things about this guy's batting stance. And we choked wow okay well i'm freaking ashamed oh no martin don't let it happen please mickey please mickey <laughs> Oh my God, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. We got way too lucky right there. If that ball was hit just a foot higher, we would have had to potentially discard a player. But thank God. Get out of the inning, please, Martin. No, that's gonna go down the line. Come on. Now the pressure's on a little bit. Now the... <laughs> okay, well, I... <laughs> The pressure somehow disappeared immediately, so that's nice. One thing I can easily take away from this game, if you guys want a really good pitcher, get Martin. Spend the stubs and get my boy. Here comes Tony back up again. Yo, look at her. No batting gloves, too. What a B. I mean, what am I doing? What was that? What the heck was that? I was focusing on the no batting gloves and go for a crappy slider down low. I'm sitting with Ronald. I'm going. Go, Ronald. Go. Go. Oh, wait. That thing is a nuke job, Martin. What can this guy not do? 105 off the bat, too. My guy's hitting 101 in his fastball and hitting 105 from the other side. One of the original two-way players. It's so good to see it. 6 nothing. by the way. We got a very comfortable lead. Also, I guess my guy has zero confidence in his bullpen because Tony Gosselin is still out there as Jose freaking Abreu. That thing was drilled when it should not have been. He might be a budget beast. I mean, look where that ball was and look where it ended up. And we still got Tony Gosselin out there. Honestly, I respect it. I appreciate it, dude. Just let me keep going. <laughs> let me just keep adding on to these runs. I appreciate it. There's no way he's keeping them. Come on. Yeah, please. Just, I mean, I don't even know why I'm helping you here, but you got to take him out. There we go. Bradley does have the knuckle curve though. So that's something we got to watch out for. But pfft. Like, I'm not even running. I'm not even going to run. Game called due to mercy roll. Oh, my. I was not expecting that we were that good. I was nervous going into this, but there we go, baby. Tony Stone's debut was a success, even though we didn't, unfortunately, get a hit with her, which does kind of stink. But, yo, what a game. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like on it and subscribe down below. And be sure to check out this video right here because I know you guys are going to love it.